Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to work with the resources man management in your project and after that, we will create the task and assign it to the right person. Okay, so let's get started. And now this one is a new new project file I have just created. And now under the under the grant chart here, you click on this drop out list button and we have a resources and here. So you, you go ahead to enter some of the resources name here. For example, I'm working on the uh, software development project. We have a project manager, uh, Dev1, Dev2, QC, and I think that's all for an example. Okay, so now we have PM, Dev1, Dev2, Q, QA1, QA2. BA. Okay, cool. So now we have just finished created the the resources in our project, and now I will save this one. Okay, I think no need. Okay, so after we have the resources created in our project, so we back to the that sheet. Okay. So here we go, I go ahead to create the task in our project and after that we will assign it to the right person in in our project we have just created. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have some tasks for preparation, e kickoff, and planning. And we have another task for clarify requirement. Okay, and another task for development. I will change the tab mode to auto scatter. Okay, cool. For example, the key of meeting project, there is a milestone, so it will take zero day. Planning will take three day, four day, three day. Career to iframe will be take five day. Right at I add will be ten day. Development back end that. 15 15 day Ramo testing e 5 day is around to 5 day
okay yeah so this one is a project key ops so it should be completed by the project manager so i will select a pm who will be in charge to finish this task planning also pm okay after we finish the preparation here so we will start to work on the clarify requirement so pretty Chester should be the when we finish the dot four, so we will start the dot six four. And after the dot six is finished, we will start work on dot seven six. Okay, so after we finish creating uh, clarify the requirement, so we work on the development seven seven. We will do the same thing uh, in parallel with the back end and front end that. Okay, cool. And after we finish the development, and I mean the that add here, so we will start to work on the round mode, round one setting. It, it, after we finish the round one, so we will work on the round two. Okay. So for the clarify requirement here, it should be handled by the BA business analyst in the project. I will select BA. Same thing here for BA. And for the de development here. So for example, I'm assuming this project is so small. So I only have two devs. We'll take care of two tasks in this project. Dev one will take care of the back end task. And dev two take care of the front end task okay and after that when we finish the coding so we will start to work on the testing for round one testing we should include qa1 and qa2 to do the same time and the same thing in round two we will assign qa1 and qa2 as well okay Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to do, how to manage the resources in your project by using the Microsoft project. And after that, when you finish uh, to work on the so the resources planning, so you create the task and assign it to the right person. Okay, I hope this video will helpful for you. And let me know if you see and see you. Bye bye, and talk to you later.